Hello viewers, how are you? Hope you are fine. Welcome back to my channel, Drawing Time with Story. If you are new in my channel, I will introduce myself and my channel with you. I am Suraya Parvin and in my channel, I select an object or a theme to draw or paint because recently I started acrylic painting and it's awesome. So while painting or drawing, I will narrate some stories or deliver some information or simply we talk to each other uh, just related to the topic or we share our personal experiences and I just wait for your comments and suggestions because they inspire me a lot. Really it's inspiring for me. So don't forget to subscribe my channel to stay connected with me, to stay connected with obviously drawing time with the story. So as you saw my today's topic uh, of painting is uh, somewhat different because I wanted to create a horror scene, a horror night scenery with a big moon. So you will uh, get prepared to listening to some scary stories and I took these stories from the website mom loves best so let's jump time because it's our story time now so our first story's name is murderer on the loose a man was lying in bed one evening when he noticed there were lots of sirens in the streets outside and there was a helicopter flying around overhead and the sounds of barking dogs and shouting people. He looked out his window and saw a great deal of police activity. So he went online to discover what was going on. Serial killer escapes, said the headlines. As he read further, the man discovered a crazed killer had broken loose and that he was believed to be in the man's neighborhood. But he was not too worried. As the night wore on, the noise went down and the man went to bed. But suddenly, the man was startled awake. He thought he had heard a sound. He listened carefully and was just about to go back to sleep when he heard it again. This time he was sure someone was trying to get in his front door. The man looked down the hallway terrified not knowing what to do. The only way out of his room without going into the hallway was through the window. He could not climb out, could he? His mind was made up as he saw the door wobble in his frame as someone threw their entire weight against it. Without another moment of hesitation, the man leaped out of his window and ran into his yard. He paused to look over his shoulder just in time to see the light go on in his bedroom and a team of police officers piling. The man was amazed and relieved at the same time until he felt a hand clamp tight over his mouth and the cold steel of a serial killer's knife against his throat. It's so sad. So stay awake and stay cautious every time because anytime anything can happen. Our next story name is the hitch hiker a man moved to a small town and slowly got to know a few of his new neighbors he soon learned that most of the residents believed that one of the roads out of the town was haunted but he didn't believe in ghosts so he never asked why one day the man went to visit a friend in another town. He was enjoying his visit so much that he ended up staying later than he had planned. By this time he left for home it was way past midnight. There was no moon that night. 
and once he left the town limits the only lightning came from the headlights soon it began raining and the rain made it even more difficult to see as a result it was almost too late to break when the man saw the women on the road he jammed his foot hard on the to the floor and the car served in the road before coming to a stop just inches from her legs normally the men would have driven off again but it was so late and the weather was terrible he decided to offer the women a ride she got into his car took off her wet hoodie and held her hands up to the vents to capture the warmth when they reached town the women directed him to her home thanked him for the ride and went inside when the man got home he discovered she had left her hoodie in his car he thought about driving back to her house but it was so late that he decided to go inside to bed and return the hoodie the next day the next morning he drove back to the house where he had dropped her back walked to the door and rang the bell an older woman answered the door and he handed her the hoodie i gave your daughter a ride home last night and she left this in my car he said the women began to cry then my daughter was killed by a heat and run driver many years ago she said it happened on the road into the town and she was wearing a hoodie just like this one the next story is the 13th floor The first hotel to have more than 13 floors had a huge Halloween party to celebrate its opening. Each floor was set up like a maze, decorated with cobwebs and other Halloween decorations. There were lots of people dressed up. They were dressed up as ghosts and cows to frighten the party goers. An exciting prize was hidden on the top floor and the first person to reach the prize would win it. Jack and Sophia were two of the party goers. They worked their way easily through the mazes on the first few floors. As they headed up through the building, the hallways on each other Sorry. The hallways on each floor got darker and scarier. <coughs> so, when they got to the 12th floor, Jack and Sophia heard a blood-curdling scream. As they made their way through the maze, they heard more screams and cries for help. Finally, in the lobby by the elevators, they saw blood dripping from the ceiling. The elevator dinged and the door slowly opened which was strange because every other time they used the elevator the doors had been quick and smooth the light in the elevator was flickering as they stepped in and as the doors began to close the lights went out completely and then screams so loud the entire building heard them begin to ring out At first the party goers thought it was a part of the scary Halloween theme but then the owners of the building turned on all the lights and asked everyone to return to the lobby but when people tried to use the elevator it never came the bell would ring but the doors would not open and they were all forced to use the stairs Down in the lobby the building owners explained they had not played the sounds of the screams and as they did a check on of everyone who had come back they realized Jack and Sophia had not returned just then the doors to the elevator opened it was empty except for Jack's watch one of the Sophia's shoes and a pool of blood Jack and Sophia were never seen again and the building owners took away the button for the 13th floor so nobody would disappear there again The next story is clap once for yes 
A family was camping and left their tent to go on a day hike. They were a few hours from their campsite when a storm suddenly blew up. They became disoriented in the wind and driving rain. They tried to trace their steps back to the campsite but became lost in the unfamiliar backcountry. Being experienced hikers, they knew once they were lost, it was best to stay in one place than wander in the woods. So they prepared to settle down and wish for rescue. Darkness fell and the family built a fire to keep warm. As the snuggles snuggled up against each other and started to drift off to sleep, they heard a noise coming from the trees. Who is there? One of the parents called, but there was no answer. Then they heard the sound again, but once more when they called out, there was no answer. Perhaps it is someone who cannot speak, suggested the daughter. So her mom called out, is there anyone there? Clap once for yes and twice for no. There was one clap. You were right. The parents said to their daughter, there is someone out there. Are you here to rescue us? Shouted the mom. Clap, clap. Are you lost like us? Clap, clap. Do you live out here in the woods? Clap, clap. Let me try, said the son. Are you a boy? Clap, clap. Are you a girl? Clap, clap. They all looked at each other, puzzled, thinking he was being funny. The son asked, are you human? Clap, clap. Now the family was scared. Are you alone? Called the mom. Clap, clap. The family huddled together more. How many of you are then? And there was a huge clap, 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 and clap. I know in that situation it would be really creepy, but I just felt very um, hot, will I say. <laughs> I was laughing at the clapping sounds, but I know in that situation it must be scary too. So how was the painting and the stories today? Let me know in the comment section because I am eagerly waiting for your pre um, precious reviews, suggestions and opinions. And one more thing, if you have any request for me to draw or paint, please feel free to ask me in the comment section. I will definitely draw or paint for you and I will be very happy for you. So take care of yourself, stay safe, stay healthy, stay healthy and stay with Drawing Time with this story because you guys are the true inspiration for me to create new things. Till then, bye.